Yes, brothers and sisters, guest number seven on the Danny Christie show. We've got Kenneth Richardson. Pleasure. How are you, mate? <laughs> yeah, thanks for having me. No problem, mate. Looking forward to meeting you. Um, followed your career a little bit um, online, yeah. you know, and, <clears throat> and we'll get into that. We'll get into that, mate. But, um, you know, I do have a particular style, mate, which I like to stick to, you know, and I think it's only right we stick to that, you know. And I'd just like to go back to the start a little bit, you know. Obviously, yeah. you do have some fans and followers. Yeah. I'm going to give them a little bit of a insight. Exactly, mate. Just into your growing up and stuff, mate, you know. Check us through relationship with your mum and dads, you know, what kind of families you're from. Yeah. Floor's yours, brother. Yeah. Um, from, from, oh, starting off from primary school. So, yeah, I was, um, so I was, I was, I was born up in um, Oakrington in Middleton. Um, I used to go to prim primary school there. Um, I was, I was, I was always, I was always fighting, and you know, I've been, I've been fights, and and you know, I, I, well, well, I was, um, I was, I was, dis I'm, I'm dyslexic, so right. None of the teachers ever picked up on it, and I never, I never found out I was dyslexic until I was a grown up. You know, because they, they didn't back then when I was younger, they didn't know anything about dyslexia. So yeah. I just thought I struggled with reading and writing. So, so I, I, I'd end up causing trouble or throwing a rubber on a kid's head and just being a little ass wipe, you know, yeah. like, like you're doing. But bit of frustrating like, a bit. Yeah, right, yeah. It's just embarrassing, you know, just you know, just mm -hmm. you're trying to write things and you know, you, you you miss words out and stuff. And I just you know, just, so so I was, so I got so I got expelled when I was in primary school. Yeah. So, yeah, and then same again, high school. Um, but you know, in, in, in high school, that, that, that wasn't really my fault. That was, um, I was getting a bit of a, an hard time off a couple of lads and then, you know, I come past on the bus and one of them kicked me in the face and I had a bit of an hard time. And then it, the, one of them was, um, one of them was like the star football player. And, um, and it was on the, the foot, the ground, the where the concrete was, not the field, and it coming over and hitting me, and I just lost my rag. This is it, because he, he was like lo had loads of friends, and I was, I was just like about a couple of us, you know. Yeah. And I just lost my rag and I battered him, and um, the teacher, the teacher, seen that hit me, and seen that stuck up for myself, and I got expelled from my school as well, and. Um, I think because he was a bit of a star at the football team, that maybe had something to do with him not getting yeah, knee, knee yeah, grief. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> my mum told me told me years later that that head teacher had a bit of a doing with one of her brothers and um, he got a pasting in the pub years ago so his mum said that's probably something to do with it yeah uh, you know, funny. so i don't know what's gone on there but yeah, yeah. one of mum's brothers had given me a give me a crack years before so he was always being funny when saying, saying snide remarks and stuff right. and i always wondered why mm -hmm. but that's a bit why but you know it's out of order really but you know what about you know, <coughs> tell us about your moods and that. You, see, you don't seem to be a lad that's opening his mouth, mate. You know, we spoke at length really before this, mate. And you don't seem to be a fella that shouts his mouth off, you know. But you know, you've got a, have you got a bit of a temper or something? Something I haven't asked you. I I used to have a temper. Yeah. I used to be known to be aggressive and have a temper. Yeah. Um, you know, people just like have to watch what they say or watch it. You know, when you're younger yeah. and stuff, and you know, I always want to, you know, have a bit of a name when you're younger. You know. And, and stuff, but best thing he ever did was get into training. It just changed me. You yeah, know, I took it all out. That took all out me. I'm not that type of person anymore. Yeah, but yes, mate. Yeah, best thing he ever did was start martial arts, put all my energy into that, and yeah. change his person, made me a better person. Yes, brother. Yeah. Yes, mate. We'll get to that, mate. You know what about uh, you know your late teens, early twenties? You know I've been you've been, you've been with your missus a long time, mate. Which is, you know, I've said this before, mate. You know that level of commitment, mate. Nowadays is rare. Yeah. You know what I mean? I've been with her 20 years Go on, mate. in November. I met her on her 20th birthday. Right. I always say that's the best day of her life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, bro. But yeah, and it's, she's, she's her 40th in, so, in a couple few months, isn't it? Go um, on, mate. Go on. So, yeah. So, we've, we've been married six, f 15 years. Yeah, Go on, bro. Together. You know, 20 years in, yeah. in yeah, November, November. Yeah. Fair play to you, mate. Fair play to you. Mm. Yeah, we've um, been married a couple of times, you were saying. Yeah, we've. Yeah. Sort of for the same, same, same woman. woman. <laughs> yeah, no. So, to get that when, right. When we had a wedding, we went over to Sicily. And yeah. Um, it was brilliant. I come back and had the, the, the do for the family, both my families. Um, and we got back and I just said, uh, if I've, I went, if I've not dumped you in five years' time, I still love you. So mm. we'll do it again. Yeah. 
mm-hmm. and um, so we stuck to it. So every five years, we'd, we'd, we'd done it again. So the, the next time we went off, so the first time we got married, we went to Sicily. That was beautiful, yeah. beautiful place, Sicily. Yeah. Loved it. I, I appreciate it a lot more now because I was only in my twenties then. Yeah. But now it's all wine and Italian food, isn't uh-huh. it? And yeah. You know, wine. That is beautiful. You yeah. know, everyone wearing suits. It's a beautiful place. Yeah. Um, I'd love to go again. Definitely go again. Um, second time I went to the Caribbean to Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. Saint Lucia. Yeah. It, 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 it was nice. It was a good experience. But they're five star hotel. It's like a three star. It's right. not. It's not like if you right. go and have a five star in uh-huh. you know, some other country. Right. It's, like, it's mega. Right, man. Um, beautiful. But it was a bit rainy there. The weather was not the best. But it, it, beautiful place, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the the third one we got married in Florida. Uh, was it? What is Tampa? Tampa, Florida. Yeah, Tampa yeah. Bay. Yeah, somewhere some around there. Yeah, yeah. That, that's a beautiful place. Acting yeah. like I've been, acting like I know. Yeah, Flo- yeah. Florida's beautiful, isn't it? You know, yeah. there's, there's ponds everywhere. Yeah, I wouldn't it? know about it. Alligators yeah. everywhere. It's, got, it's a gorgeous place. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, uh, like I said, it just magnifies mate, your level of commitment to each other. You know what I mean? It's nice that, like I said, it's rare these days. Do you know what I mean? Relationships are a disposable thing almost now do you know what i mean like i said that level of commitment is rare do you know what i mean and i don't I, get wrong been up i had our yeah. ups and downs and stuff yeah but we, you know, listen, mate, we're, we're, we're strong now yeah and you've stuck it out good, yeah. yeah yeah fair play to you mate yeah one, one, <coughs> one kid and she's um it's her 16th this year as well so that's a big one so yeah. it's my wife's 40th and my daughter's 16th yeah i've only got one kid yeah she's a good teen yeah she's brilliant she's a good yeah. kid nice she's, one um, like us both really yeah <laughs> it's a lot of temper like me and then <laughs> like a mum cle- clever like a mum <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, I ask her for spellings yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah good man yeah she's got yes, a kid bro. I've um, <coughs> excuse me <coughs> excuse me I've uh, been following a few of your fights mate and um, I, say I was keen to meet you and um, see what intrigued us the most about yourself was you never started fighting until you were 30 yeah yeah I'd, um, um, how rude, mate. I've got to get that off. Yeah. Oh, excuse me, bro. That's cool. I told Jimmy off the other day for doing that on my podcast, and here I am, phone ringing. <laughs> yeah, Apologies, no. people. Yeah, I didn't... Um, so, I've, n- I've never done martial arts before. Well, I've done it for three months, um, six years before for three months, but I snapped my finger in the gym and ended up having an operation. So... Yeah, so I was in the gym sparring with MMA gloves on. A kid kicks me with boxing boots on. It just finger just pops back, splits up. I've got these MMA gloves on, and thing is popped in half. So my mate jumps me in the car, whips me home to the os- whips me to the hospital. Mm. And when I get there, so they have to they cut my MMA glove off. And yeah. So I'm going to Venice on an holiday the next morning. Right. All right. So. They said, so right. This is at the start of your training, yeah. Yeah, this is this is this is six years before. Uh, so I, I was see, like I early twenties. So right, when I first yeah, tried yeah. MMA, I fell in love with it. Right, in the gym in town, and um, they said your um, your tendon's gone behind your, your bone, so we can't. We need to operate. I said, can't, can't, can't. You need to stay in overnight. I said, I can't go in Venice in the morning. So yeah. right, okay, we'll wrap it up. Budget up. We'll wrap it up, <laughs> and then when you come back, can have an operation. Oh, that was the worst three days of my life. So we had this heartbeat in my hand. Bum, bum, yeah. bum, 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 bum. I'm yeah. like, ah. she's yeah. talking to me. I'm just like, ah. Yeah. Just, pff, yeah. Getting on the bear trying to, oh, it was mm. horrible. Throbbing like a cartoon. Oh, horrible time, yeah. So yeah. I, I ended up having an operation. They put a metal thing in it. That didn't work. So it wasn't healing. They had to take that back out. So I had three operations. Yeah. So I can't get a full, full fist, really, you know, that finger. But yeah. See, the scarred and uh, that's yeah. the, the full <laughs> But, uh, you can still crack a bit with your left hand though from what oh, I've seen. I'll stretch it out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, mate. Um, but yeah, and then so, well, I was meant to get a, um, me and my cousin was going to get a gym together. Yeah. And um, it ended up not working out. We ended up uh, leaving it. But I come and check this building out and, you know, I had a vision, I seen it and I said to my wife, oh, I'd love to get into the gym and do it. And, and, and it, it's done now. And she said, my wife said to her, if you want to do it, do it. Me and you'll do it together. Yeah. We'll, we'll do it. We'll just, anything we'll get in, we'll, we'll go for it. And then I did. I just went and got the gym. Um, never done martial arts in my life. And it's a big weightlifting gym. So I got, went and got all the weights in, done the gym up. It took us 18 months before we opened. It was yeah. a place that needed that much work. A lot of work to do. Yeah, I kept running out of money, working again, you know, remortgaged the house, everything. It was, it was an hard struggle, yeah. you know, to keep going. And um, But we, we, we'd done it. And, I got I got all coaches in for every discipline. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, and then I started training. I, I never thought I'd get into fighting. Yeah. Um, I just thought I'd get, get a, make a business, enjoy it. But when they start doing it, you get good. Your mindset changes, doesn't it? And yeah. then, you know, I thought I'll have a go. So just a year, year and a half into my first training, so I was 30, 39. Yeah, for, I had my first fight. So I started opening the gym at 29. I had my first fight at 30. How long yeah. had you been training before you had your first yeah, fight? Yeah, just just 29. So, so I was 30, 30 years old at half, you know. Yeah. So yeah. So how many how many months training? You know, had you had before? A year and a half. A year and a half. Yeah, a year and a half. Yeah. Good chance to get some good fundamentals. Yeah. Here, but yeah, I never done anything in my life really. Yeah. You know, a little bit here and there in the boxing. <coughs> you know, yeah. A few. That's what I needed to touch on because, you know, we spoke a little bit about this when we were chatting last night. You know about. It's intriguing for me, you know, to see the level you're at in fighting, mate. You know, you, you, you're clearly good. Do you know what I mean? You're well rounded. You know what I mean? You've got good hands. You commit to your punches. Do you know what yeah. I mean? You really do. You commit to your punches. And but for me, I was sitting scratching my head, thinking like, how come he's only started fighting when he's thirty? Do you know what I mean? Believe it or not, he's forty-one. Do you know what I mean? Look yeah. at him. Forty-one in mess. Forty-one year old. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I look like yeah. I put ten year on him. But you know, my wife does Botox and all that. She looks, <laughs> she looks after me. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not gonna man. lie. Good I'm man. Good man. But yeah, um, I, try, yeah. I try and eat clean five, six days a week, you yeah. know, and we have a bit of junk a week and I'll have a yeah. little drink, a pint here and then, but you know. Yeah. You look I, like someone who has never had never any problems with addiction or anything no, like that. No, you know, never, no, I've never. That in your face, no, mate. No, no, you know, I like to have a drink and, you know, but it's, 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 it's in my jeans to have a drink, so yeah. <laughs> I need to be careful on that. Yeah, yeah, All my uncles like to drink, and, yeah. you know, uh -huh. Irish blood in it, that side of the family. Yeah. So. But I want to know how, like, <clears throat> how you, you know, how you, how your brain sort of sponged and susceptible this informa information, you know, as in fighting, because it's like <clears throat> what we were chatting about last night. You know, there's a lot of truth in when you get to. It's not always thirty; it could be a lot earlier than thirty. You know, things get more difficult to learn. You know, a lot of things get difficult to learn, and I'm not talking about sums or I'm not talking about. You know, learning languages, which is difficult in itself. You know, I mean, where the older you get, the things get more difficult. And I think it's sort of important as well to touch on that. There's not a, in my opinion, you know, I don't think there's a, I don't think there's a link between, you know, I don't think there's a, a correlation between intelligence, you know, and literature. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's not yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. What I'm saying is, you know, for you to be able to start training at 30 year old, 29 year old. And to pick up these things, especially to do with body dynamics. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a lot. It's, it's a lot of movement. It's a lot. You know, I really, really enjoy. And I can, yeah. I can watch a DVD. I watch. I can see a move once, and I can take it in. Um, you know, like like some yeah. of my friends, some training partners. You know, I have to tell them, show them ten times yeah. a move before they take it in. And you know, it's just I can just see one move on on a fight, and then I'll go and you know yeah. I can take it on and drill it. And not everyone has the eye like that. The door. Mm. It's not just the eye, mate. It's the ability, yeah. and the ability to, to do that. The ability to sponge something up like that and to adapt it straight away. It's mm. like that's why I can only re I can only refer to when <clears throat> when we were training kids or when we were kids ourselves getting trained. You know, mm. someone throws a move at you. It's in. It's in immediately. It doesn't mm. need repeated. You drill it a couple of dozen times. It's just part of your yeah. arsenal now. Yeah. But you see, when you get to your thirties, mate, for the repetition that you need to go through is unbelievable. Usually, I'm not talking about yourself here. Yeah. Usually, the repetition you have to go through to get anything, it's especially to do with body dynamics, mm. the way you train, the way you move, loading the hips, twisting the hips. All this stuff yeah, needs repetition. A stupid amount of times yeah. when you get it's, older. It's because it's because I, I really like it and enjoy it. It's yeah. Like, if I don't really, don't really enjoy it, like, yeah. <laughs> like you uh -huh. know paperwork yeah. I just won't take it in yeah but this I really enjoy it so doing that's what she yeah. wife says you, you, you only take stuff in you you really you know you really you're really yeah. passionate about you yeah. know well, I think yeah. that's just natural isn't it but yeah we work well together me and her though I'm good at all this side of it she's good at the, the, that side of it you know yeah. we work well together with the businesses you know I can tell that mate just yeah. looking about the gym mate you've got a booming business love yeah. the gym got a few hours together and stuff you know yeah We've done all right Fair play to you, mate. Big mm. respect. I'm going to, before we finish this interview in a little while, I'm going to go out and I'm going to take a video for the lads and that because we've yeah. got a similar gym back home. It's not quite as clean, it's not quite as smart, but it's a, it's a proper setup, this mate. A proper setup, yeah. mate. You should be pleased with it. Well, I have, um, I, I get on all my staff. That's the thing is, we, everyone says, I can't believe how clean your gym is. Yeah. So I, I have OCD for my staff. Yeah. I, I make them clean. <laughs> no, <I'm>, <laughs> <laughs> and I know they all have to do a couple of hours chipping yeah. clean every day and then. But everyone compliments the gym on how clean it is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Immaculate. Yeah, we all, we, all, we all chip in and do cleaning, yeah. Yeah. Every day, yeah. Yes, mate. Mm. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So tell us about you know your first amateur fight. You've drilled the basics. You know you obviously got better and better, mate. Because yeah. I've seen you fighting lately. We'll get to yeah. that. I've seen you fighting lately, mate. And you mate, you flying. Well, uh, well, if you'd seen my first fights, I was I was not that, that confident on, on, the, on the striking side of it. I just take everyone down straight away because the first thing you ever done was judo, yeah, and wrestling and doing a bit of strike. I went really into the striking then, but I did it just because for the MMA. Mm -hmm. But um, you always go to you know you always have a plan in the fight, don't you? Until yeah. you get. A, you get someone throws a punch then you go to wherever you're comfortable and the yeah, first thing like you if you're a boxer you stand and bang yeah. if you're a wrestler you go there so yeah. at my earlier fights I was really comfortable there but as I got on it started changing now I'm starting really getting comfortable with yeah. striking and you can know, see that yeah yeah. As, um, so I'm a judo judo black belt like for a, a while now yeah um, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt I've been in that for like over four years now yeah Probably yeah. could have done better. Would have you slowed down on your grading and that then with that, that same belt yeah, for a while? Yeah, I, I, I was with a coach um, before lockdown. Yeah. And um, I don't know what's happened now. I was like always dropping him messages about coming up training and doing PTs with him and stuff. And he just wasn't interested. He was just never getting back to him. And I was always yeah. saying, well, the PTs. I know that you couldn't train in, in lockdown, but as a professional fighter, and you know, there was a, I know there was a little, you can curveball it mm -hmm. with being a professional fighter. And I was yeah. saying, listen, I'll pay you two, three times a week. Yeah, but it, it was just never interested, and it just it only come back to me on a joke or something else. I just wasn't interested in training. So, so is that that's and that's just regarding your grading. Yeah, that, you're obviously, you're still that's training. That's on the Brazil, no, I, I, I train with. I go to another coach. I, yeah. I, I, I train when I go to Mallorca. I want to train with a coach there. I train with all my lads. I've got friends who are brown belts. I train with them. Yeah. But I was training. I had to coach the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. But yeah. um, so I've just so I'm starting again now. So I'm with a, another coach and another couple, a couple of coaches training with them. And see where we get with them. But I'm yeah. not in in no rush to be get my black belt in that anyway because I I want to yeah. be a, I want to be an excellent black belt and not just a standard black belt. Yeah. You know. So I just so I'm not I'm not bothered. Yeah. So I've got me um, kickboxing brown belt. I've been doing kickboxing and boxing for, for years. Yeah. I'm a good friend of mine. Um, so looking at to hopefully get the back belt this time yeah. next year. Uh -huh. yeah. Yes, mate. But yeah, but BJJ, <coughs> well, so I don't know what it's going to be like. Another, probably another couple of years again now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, See, I've never been a boxer and having a boxing background, mate. I used to, years ago, when I used to watch him rolling about, mate, never done anything for me. I didn't interest me one bit. You know, I just... Grappling. Yeah. yeah I watching was, it. Yeah. I've mean, knock it yeah. off. Yeah, Started yeah. grappling, I knock it off, but see now yeah. since I've sort of got the basics, just the basics, yeah. you know, in wrestling and jiu jitsu, just you know, I can, I understand now, I can watch it, I can know what they're doing, I can see them fighting for position, you know, and it, it, it interests me a lot more than it's ever done, you know what I mean? And it's just such a big part of it now, you know, and if you've got no ground game, you've got no jiu jitsu, you're oh, well, wasted. Well, they say 95% of fights go to the ground, yeah, you of throw course. one shot at you and they grip all the yeah, down there. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah, I've got no bit of groundwork on you. Yeah, I said, yeah, it's like a bit of an understatement, isn't it? Especially yeah, in MMA. You, get, you, you know, get a good boxer against a good wrestler, and yeah. you can't knock him out that shot, you're gone at it. Yeah, of course, 100%. Know? Hundred percent, mate. So, but yeah, you've got to have it all up. Cause yeah. If you come against someone who can sprawl, yeah, they're going to stand and bang you. They're going to take you there. Of course, that's so. a be that's a beauty of MMA. You know, all them styles rolled into one. You know, you know, just coming in of one discipline and being that being your sole discipline and just giving the other ones five minutes a week. Do you know what I mean? You're never yeah. going to get good at anything if you're not drilling them all. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, your amateur record, mate. You went five and all. Yeah, f um, five and all. Um, so I was yeah, so a year and a half into training. I got a fight down York. First fight. Um, was that with like a local a local well, it's, it's, it's down a, York? Yeah, yeah. It's like an hour's drive for it, isn't it? Or yeah. more, I don't know. It's quite a far drive. Um, but I ended up selling 170 tickets on the first fight. Yeah. And it's big because people are looking to sell 20 tickets. Yes, they are. So I took a big following down there. And you're obviously on a bit of a ticket deal, yeah? Yeah, I got a good ticket deal off him, yeah. And then um, did it. I won that first round with uh, a guillotine. He's a good, good kid as well. He's a, he's a good kid, but I caught him with a guillotine. Underneath, yeah, and choked him out. Yeah, um, got the win there. It's his second one. Um, yeah, four and a few strikes. Got him against the um, cage wall. Got a guillotine, standing up guillotine, and won that. And then ooh, the third fight was um, he offered me a British title, yeah, amateur British title. Um, that was a uh, yeah, back and forth, bit of striking. I ended up getting him down. Um, is it down, yeah, what did he do? But it was, it was oh yeah, up and down against the wall. Kept taking him down, a bit of striking, um, and then up. so yeah, second round. Second round was it? He threw an heavy kick. I caught it and took him down, and ended up taking his back and finishing him off with a, a choke. Yeah. 
Um, and he was a good kid, he had a <coughs> good gym, um, good try. Oh, he caught me with one kick after that fight, I couldn't walk. Yeah. <laughs> one kick. Yeah. So, okay, I finished it really. I mean. Yeah, hit, kicked me hard, buckled my knee. Yeah. Um, Some kicks on them tie boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. them low kicks, just like you said, just above yeah. the knee or just below yeah. the knee. So, I got three in the line. Then I got on um, FCC show, the one where I've got most of the, my pro, the titles from, pro, well, pro, pro titles from. Yeah. Um, I fought against a the, uh, kid there. Um, got, he got good good boxing. This is your pro debut, yeah? It, no, this is amateur. This is my right. fourth amateur. Right. Um, this is with the FCC amateur. Yeah, amateur yeah, yeah. Because they do what they do. They do, do amateur and they pro. They do, yeah. they do, yeah. So we ended up. Um, so the plan was I'm going to write, I'm going to show everyone I've got striking now. So I was throwing a little bit. He throws, whips a kick past me. I throw a shot. <laughs> put that. <laughs> Whipped him down. Yeah. Went down. And then um, I ended up getting to the side. I've got a beautiful proving that side of steps over pop back yeah steps over and got a nice thing proving that side you yeah. like it's, um it's a good you know good technical move yeah know, i've seen that i've seen that i know what they yeah, are yeah, made a yeah. rare well I, i've seen someone not long ago get it in ufc was it the first one and it was like oh i can't prove that sounds yeah. mad by it but yeah. in that fight um in that shot on that show that night Someone got um, submission at night on a Kimura, a standard Kimura, and I got proved your necktie, and I was fuming. Yeah. I proved your necktie. Yeah, yeah. There's only ever one in the UFC <laughs> at the time. Yeah. And a, a guy with a Kimura, whoever gets a Kimura, yeah. you, it's the first thing you learn in the gym, isn't it? Yeah. Kimura, Americano. Yeah. Maybe, a lo- maybe a local kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, I was fuming. Maybe fixing <laughs> there. Like, yeah. uh, to, the, yeah. to the promoter, but the promoter's my, my, my good friend, then, yeah. you know, and he's like, oh, what's that out next time? Okay. <laughs> is, this, is this your fourth amateur so with the FCC? Fourth, so this is fourth, yeah. So I had a fourth fight on each show. Yeah. Then oh. he had a, and then I got offered, um, is it a British title? British title. Sorry, the title in York was um, a York, just area called title. Yeah. Uh-huh. The British title was on a, a one in Manchester. Again, they flew a French kid over who has um, been fighting for years. He's retired now, a bit older yeah. than me. And um, What place has a Frenchman got fighting for a British title? Is it? Is that just how it works with the organisations, yeah? Yeah, it was on British title, British title yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, I, got, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It just and we'll get him, we'll yeah. him off, we'll give him it. He had really, really <laughs> good groundwork. He had, yeah. um, had my work cut out of him. It was a five-round fight. I, I beat him on the, the three rounds. We kept, we kept like, it was a ball of a grappling fight. He was trying to take me down. He was a ground for fighter. Yeah. yeah and, um, I kept getting down. I was going for guillotines. He was doing it back and forth. I won, I won, I won three rounds, clearly. And then on the, th- the, the fourth round, my energy was gone. Yeah. Remember him um, having, me, having me against the um, cage? Well, and for the f- for the f- full round, he kept just near me, near me. I kept lifting back up near me, and I was like, I was done. And I thought that's it. three minute rounds in the amateur. Five, I had five, you know, the, um, the um, title. Because it was a title, so five, yeah. yeah. So I went back to the corner on the, lap, the, the fourth round, and I thought, oh, I'm done. But I don't know what come me. Energy just flooded back. Yeah. And I just come out like, double legged him, took him down, and yeah. just mauled him for the last round. I just, yeah. I just got the second wind. Yeah, got a bad fourth round. And I win it. Yeah, yeah. So the, fourth, the fifth round, I won it. Uh, won it. So I won yeah, four yeah. rounds out of the fifth. Yeah. Five. Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah. Good game. Yeah. 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 And what was it, what was the step? What was the progress between? Was it much of a flip round? Much of a turnaround between? You know, wrapping five up and then getting in the pros? Not right. My, my first ever coach, MMA coach, was um, he had a judo background and um, he had loads of fights and stuff. And you know, he was, he was not the most technical. He was more he used to just throw, show us a move and then just beat us all up uh-huh. <laughs> at the beginning. Yeah. And it's tough from um, calling hand grenade, Rob. He was, yeah. he was a good mate of mine. And then yeah, yeah, uh-huh. he, he, he's he's not trained me for years. So when he's come back down and trained with me. You know, obviously, better striking me, groundwork, and everything. When he come back, it was totally the other way around. I was yeah. totally better than him on all the striking, groundwork, him, yeah. wrestling. And he went, wow, and Kenneth, you, went, you need to turn pro. He went, I train with people all the time. He went, your level's high, you need to turn. Yeah. So with him doing that, Rob, yeah. I, I went, well, are you sure? He went, yeah, you can, you're ready for pro, you've got to go pro. Yeah. Went, from all. So that, that's why I, t- I decided to go pro, because yeah. um, my old coach friend come back, yeah. trained him again, and I was, you know, yeah, yes, I him, so. Yeah, so that's a decision. See, so you got some nice, some nice silverware, mate. You know, in the pros, we'll get to that. Mm. Talk us through your first, your pro debut, mate. Was your nerves any different, or what? It was just another day at the office for you, or what? You know, how you feeling? Stage yeah. is a bit bigger. I know you're a big ticket seller. Yeah, you know, and I know, and that's no. I was, quite, I, was, I was quite confident in that first fight. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, went, went in there, felt good, but got myself in brilliant shape. You know, I trained. Um, it's the first one. I went to I went on an holiday to New York. Um, there and I had three I had three stone to lose when I got back. You know, 
non-stop, non-stop stakes every day it's brilliant yeah, uh-huh. but yeah we come back and he had 10 we- i remember 10 weeks i lost three stone in 10 weeks and it was like one of the best shapes i've ever been in i was just i didn't even touch one glass of beer or nothing all the way through just dieted running i changed and weight up i got i got myself in awesome shape i used to <coughs> at the beginning like the beginning pros amateur I yo-yoed, I yo yo diet, I'll always go back to putting, going up to 14, 15 stone. Yeah. And I'll go back down to 12, 2 to yeah. 5. But I always keep my weight quite low down now. Yeah. I'm always 13 and a half. Yeah. Now, you know, so. Yeah. Don't have to drill yourself. I don't have much. to kill myself now. And, and, and <coughs> I, I have a caravan. We, 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 me and the family go most weekends. Yeah. And I'll have a gin now and stuff and going up. You know, and I, yeah. I used to have to have not, not touch a bear for yeah. three months, you know, uh-huh. to lose a weight because yeah. it's that three, three stone to lose. You've got yeah. to be strict, ain't you, to lose that weight. Yes, you but now I can a little, little show now and I've put a little bit of weight and I'll come in the gym and do a run, you know. Yeah. Yeah. A bit, yeah. bit, bit, bit better now, I mean, you know, yeah. enjoy it more. Of course. And you've got to respect your body a bit more as you think, you know, as, I mean, I know you're not an old man, but, um, you know, as the older you get, mate, you've got to put a bit more respect and a bit more time and effort into your body, yeah. you know, as in, yeah. See a lot of fighters and that you know that that they don't they don't understand the shape at all. They really neglect themselves, you know, in between fights and that. Yeah, you know, up, up and down. The, well, the yo-yo course. dieting is really bad for you. Yeah, and it ages is. you as well. Yeah, of course. You know, if you um, you just up here and then you're down here, yeah. you, your skin starts course, sagging. Starts so hanging. I, yeah, so I um, I try and keep myself. I train like three, four times a day. Yeah. Five, six days a week now. Yeah. Yeah. No, if I, if if I'm feeling like that, I'll go for a run on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. How many fights had you wrapped off before you got a crack at your first title in the pros? Oh, it was it was my um, was it my third third fight. They yeah. Me um, a British title. Um, yeah, but it, it was it? Oh, my second, my, so my first. I won the first one, first round. Um, was it ground the pound? Yeah, ground the pound. Yeah, end up finished with a choke. Second one, I fought against. Um, it's a bit of a big, big, big. Um, what you call it, journeyman, but he's had like over 300 fights or something. And I thought, you know, I wanted to test myself a bit and he's mm-hmm. like what, 50, 50 losses, 30 wins, you know, he's, he's beat, and, but he's beat a lot of names. And um, he was one of the hardest fight I've ever had. Yeah, he experienced. Was strong, experienced, and yeah. against him. But that, that fight has had over six, 65,000 views. Yeah. Yeah, one of the big, the second biggest hits on, on, the, on the show. Because he's, he's fought that many people and everyone's checking him out. He's just yeah. been from all over the world. And yeah. You know, but he was he was he was strong as an ox. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. Well, I think it's important as well to touch on the FCC because you know they've got a they've got a channel. I think the last time I looked, they had about fourteen, fifteen thousand followers or something on yeah, their yeah, channel. Yeah. But that that particular organisation, you know, there's been some good kids come from yeah, there. Yeah. You know, he's, he's got an handful of guys who are on UFC from his show that's and right. um, European champions. That's and stuff. right. He has the top level guys. Yeah, you know, like Tom Aspinall and Alan, he's like Leroy, um, Paddy Pimlet. Paddy the Baddy come from yeah, there. They, yeah, there's an handful of more I can yeah. think of, but they're all like they're all UFC now and That's they're, it. they're the big names and they've they've been European. Paddy's a European champion on um, FCC, the same as yeah. I've been on. Leroy has. Um, but when you watch the fights, mate, like I say, I watched a number of them the other week and that, and you know, I watched I even watched a couple of them last night, you know, before mm. I came down. Yeah, but um can see it's a good level you know and you can see like how a lot of the you know how a lot of people have springboarded off that platform you know onto the the big stage do you know what i mean because mm-hmm. it's a good level mate there's some good some good fights on there to say the least i was watching a few last night mate, including your own yeah 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 so you had you so, so the third one was um that's it so third title fight was against the kid who he called me and two other lads out so you got on his head he's like I'll, I'll do all three of you. So I, me, I don't. I don't. I'm not into calling people yeah, out and I'm dis- disrespecting. I'm noticed. You know, it's just like I own a gym and I want people to respect me. And like, like he owns a gym. And you know, he's yeah. a decent guy. I know we've got kids coming through. Yeah. I'm one of them who's bad mouthing yeah. people and calling people. You project a good image, mate. You do. Yeah, I, 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 don't, I just don't want to be. Yeah. Known as that cock who thinks he's something. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Um, yeah. But anyway, he, he's. Um, so I've agreed, and then he's, he's made a video, and he's, he's at a grappling company. He's, he's gone. Um, so yeah. This the kid that dropped down the weight. No, this is this one. is your second title yeah. fight. No, this is the first title fight as a pro. Oh, sorry, so right, I've, the, had, yeah. I've yes. had about four in pro. Yeah, that's right. So, um, so he's so the interview, and he says, "Yeah, he's like, yeah, I'm gonna, um, I'll make, I'll, I'm gonna smash him within the first round. I'm gonna box his head off. You know what? I might." Box him with a minute, minute. If he's lucky, I want to box his nose off his face. It's like mm. proper, you know, proper got really yeah. disrespectful. Did you know? he get under your skin? It, 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 I just laughed it off. I just laughed it off. But I thought, you know what? I'll take that fight. 
Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And then, but you know what? I'll, ne- I'll never, I'll never, I'll never buy it again if someone does that. It's yeah. just like, yeah, laugh yeah. it off. I'm not. Oh. I mean, I'll play WWE. Yeah, <laughs> it's not it. my style. Do we talk anymore? Yeah, yeah. But I, the kids, I get on with the lad now. He's sound. He's sound. He's just, he, he just said, "Ken, you're the big ticket side. You draw it off." Try to sell the fight. Oh, let's try to sell the yeah. fight. He's a, he's a good lad. Fair play. Um, but yeah, so first jab, I managed to catch him with the first jab as he comes in, and he hits the deck. Yeah. So. So I grip hold him, jump on him, so I'm pull, pulling him back down, wrestling him, and then I get him down, and I'm all in for the first round on the ground upon. And I noticed, you know, his, his wrestling was, he didn't feel as strong as me, and yeah. I just thought, you know, and then, and then I've watched the f- his fights, he's got a lot of knockouts, he was 8 and I was amateur, 4 and all pro, and he's knocked out a few good good lads. Yeah. And I thought, after that, after feeling that I'm a lot stronger, I just thought every time, just keep it there. I kept just whipping him down, just stayed on three rounds, just. Yeah. just Beating three rounds, you know, he didn't score a point against me. Yeah. You know? So, um, fair yeah, play. I won that one. I won that one fair and square. Yeah. Yeah. So that's your strong point, then, you know, wrestling. It's, 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 it's where the, I wouldn't say it's my strong point. It's where I'm most comfortable. Yeah. In the spotlight, in a yeah. cage. Uh-huh. If I was in a gym or on the street, yeah, it'd be a totally different story, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You know, you get kicked yeah, in the head. I, I won't even think of wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I don't know. In the, uh, it's, a, it's a sport. Yeah. Class, it's a sport, you know. Yeah. A real fight to me. Yes, mate. Cage, it's, you know, so you've had you've had this. You know, you've got your first. You've got your first title, British title. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then, then after the, after that, then I defended it. Um, I was meant to be fighting some some um, some big big ticket seller from down Wales. Big, big he ended up pulling out of an injury. So I got um, someone stepped in. It was at six weeks notice. It, it, it won a few pros, but um, I'd say a bit of more of a, more of a journey man. He'd step in and fight, but he's, he's won a few pro and he had good striking and um, good BJJ. You know I've seen him win with submissions. Um, so he, he's come in, threw a few shots, whip, tried whipping me head. Oh, that's it! He, he threw a lovely kick. Yeah. It's my elbow. So I'm, I'm going to I'm saying I'm going to stand and bang, show everyone my striking this. Whips a kick. It's my elbow. Boom. I had these pins in here, I was going and I thought, I've snapped yeah. my hand, I've yeah. snapped my hand. I thought, fucking hell, so what to do, so I just went straight out, I just whipped Your right him. hand as well? Yeah, I was whipped in, I was tucking down, yes, yeah, so, so right hand. So I just got these pins in it, I thought, right, my hand's gone, it's broke. So I just um, t- double-legged him, tucking down, as I took him down, he whipped up, nearly put a triangle on me, whipped out, got to the side. So I was working, stayed down, nice and low, nice and low, I just jumped up and I just finished him with, Heavy, heavy, yeah, heavy, I've seen that one. heavy elbows, yeah, heavy I've seen elbows, that one. savage. Yeah, and as I stood, as I stood up, my feelings started coming back, and it was just a funny bone, that, you know, in the, the yeah, yeah, you so get it into luckily, palm yeah, there, yeah, you? yeah, yeah. So it was fine. It, I didn't, I didn't it damage my arm, yeah. Right, but um, yeah, so I finished that one, man. Oh, and then what was that was number? That was the first defense. Yeah, it's first defense. That's the fourth fight in it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, and then um, oh, and then did it, did it. so. Fourth, fourth, fifth fight, and then I got um. So that was, so well, it was two fights. Yeah, defended it. And then I got off. Do you want to f- um, move up in white weight and fight the um, middleweight British champion? Um, well, you know, twice the size of me, well bigger. Yeah. But I, I checked him out and I seen it, and I thought, I looked at him, I thought, you know what, I'll be able to beat him. Yeah, just the kid that come yeah. down. He fought like everywhere. Yeah, he's, he fought like he was ranked at number two. Like everywhere, yeah. fight. He's a big, big banger. He's got really good submissions. Good yeah. kids. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu brown belt. He's good from a really good striking gym. Mm. Got good, good, good kickboxing. Yeah, but um, yeah. So with him, I just, I just kept it, kept it stood. I thought I'm not going to try and take him down. He's too big and strong. Yeah, you know, to try and catch <coughs> him. So I went with kickbox with him, and then um, yeah, I outstruck him. Um, you know, I caught him with a nice swim. Split his um, his eye open. Seen that, yeah. yeah and he, in but, a nasty place. Yeah, but it, it's him in um, is it the retina or something? Yeah. Where um, like basically they stop the fight, don't they? Yeah. It looked like he was bleeding from the eyeball. Yeah, from the eyeball. So yeah, yeah, because was they had a lot of bad comments on the, um, that video saying, oh, that was a setup. The referee got a backhand or the doctor or whatever. But because yeah. because what it is that lad, um, he thought he's had massive gashes in his fight and come yeah. back to win, but. In your head, they don't stop a they don't stop a fight when there's a cut in your head. Yeah. That's pouring blood. You can yeah. fight with blood pouring yeah, across your head, but when it's on your eyeball, yeah, and if you course. take another shot, you, lo- you lose your eyeball, yeah, and that's course. why that's why it stops it. So we asked them, yeah. you know, after them. And these referees are trained, mate. They're in charge yeah, yeah. of the welfare of the fighters. But to you make know, sure as a striker, if, if you've got a cut there, yeah. you stop it, don't you? If you've yeah. got a cut here, they yeah. let it carry on. Yeah, true. So there was like I had a quite a few bad comments and that, and then um, so and and 
when it when it was when it was down, um, he was curled up in a ball. So it's on a floor shot. He's had so he, he, he's had a couple of times. Yeah, so I, so I got a few comments saying pulled for the uh, back of the head a few yeah, times. Yeah, I've seen that. In the back of the head, but I've seen that this this lad who fought who just who I'm fighting against. He's fight when he won the British title before me. Yeah, he's hit this lad about five. He's lad five times. They're doing uh, the same thing, not yeah. meaning it. Same thing, same uh -huh. thing, but more than me. Yeah, uh, it, and he's not meant it. It's just it's just one of the things. When you you got someone you punch them and they are turning their head on. Yeah, you. of course. You're and I even seen that when you were, when I was watching yeah. that one. And you I was trying. You were even trying to change the angle a bit and go more more behind the ear. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. Time. So I changed the style and, and I, I kept striking, yeah. um, side control, whipping around him, and then yeah. I got him and then I finished with a knee to his belly yeah, on the fence, right. and then we stood up. Yeah, the referee yeah, checked yeah, his eye well. out. He said it's over, you know. Yeah. So I won it. Um, yeah. So you champ champ now. Yeah. So at this point. Yeah. So so yeah. I was champ champ. So I was, so amateur British champion, welterweight British champion, and um, middleweight, middleweight British champion. Yeah. And then. Um, Ooh, what was that? Was that so? My six, my six fight. Yeah. So, so this is I got offered um, six fight, seven. Yeah, six fight. I got offered a world title. Yeah. Against a really good kid. He's at, he's a he's a too good level. He's on um, cage warriors now, and he's fought for world titles. Really good lad. Yeah. In the middle, of, in the middle of the fight camp, I um, was rolling with a really good black belt. He's pulled my foot underneath hard guard, half guard. Whoop, and he pops. Yeah. Next day, and he's like that. So I end up having an operation right after that fight, but you know I got three. Was it? I got a few grand sponsors. I got weights. Yeah. You know, I, there, was, there was no way I was pulling out a fight. I, thought, yeah. I looked to my thought, right, I'll, I'll be able to outskill him and stuff. And, but you know, the guys, you've got to be hundred percent fitness for a, a top level level. Of course you and, 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 and you know, I got. I got it wrong, you know. Um, yeah. So did you have doubts going into the fight, and you you got oh, condition? Big doubts, cause yeah. right. So so I couldn't do all my ill runs. You've got to do ill running. Yeah, you need I wasn't do, I wasn't doing shark tanks. I wasn't fighting with people who's better than me, and getting people all changing on yeah. me. I was being all safe, so I was just just working the wall. Yeah. On the bike. On the so my my my, fit, my fitness and, and you know. Yeah. I don't, you know you've got you've got to push yourself, haven't you? So. I wasn't sparring with anyone who's better than me, and I, I always used to spar with people better than me push, yeah. to push me. And then just before I got to that fight, it was um, I said to my friends, um, a good friend of mine, Wes. I said to him, um, if I lose this fight, I'm still having a pint tomorrow. You know, I'm not a muppet or something. He was like, what are you on about? Yeah. He went, you never lose your fight. Why are you saying that? And then he said to me after he went, I knew he was going to lose that fight. And he said, that. even he already said, yeah. been thinking about I, that. I was sat in the game. change rooms, and then uh, one of the coaches come in and said, what's wrong with Ken? He said, that. And I went, I just thought, and it's not like I had it it's a world title I thought I need to be 100% not fit and I was like yeah. oh I was like do you know I was thinking I can't you know you can't oh, yeah what I should have I should have pulled out and yeah. thinking but you know top kid and yeah. I needed to be 100% fit so I thought right so the, f the fight began I started started moving around and I thought my plan was try and keep the energy just throw a few shots yeah. move around move around and I panicked so I thought I'm not, I'm not going to be fit for doing five rounds so I like that. I need to get it over and done with. So, um, so I was running straight away, running against the wall, and and you know what? It's stupid for me because he's known to have a brilliant guillotine. His yeah. guillotine loads. He does grappling comps, and listen, you've got to stay away from his guillotines. Yeah. Straight away, he grips and throws a guillotine on me, and I'm defending this guillotine on my neck for oh, I don't know. It seemed like three minutes. I don't know. I was on it for nearly most of the yeah. round, and I managed to get it out and. Do you know what? Just everyone says as well. You know, like Ken, if you're strength, you can pick the ball. Can't even lift him. Anything. I was just like, yeah. the, my energy level was gone. You know, panicking, nerves. Yeah. yeah. Uh, they had that sold that many tickets. Sold 22 tables, 300 tickets. They had that all fun, all the fun yeah. friends and family there. And I uh, managed to get it out. I whipped him down, and um, he managed. Um, so I managed to get out of it. He stands up and he's thinking, right, Ken, it's up. To do, and I, I'm like, he looks at my hands like that. Yeah. <laughs> Hands on my knees. He just looked at me. He went. He just, he just threw a couple of shots. I just fell back. I was, ex yeah. I was absolutely Spent. exhausted. He, you know, he, he just he, he, he respectful. He didn't try and take me head off. Yeah. He just he knew it was done. And yeah. um, referees jumped in and stopped it before he, he threw any kind of pound on me. Really, yeah. he just threw a shot. Just fell on my ass. You know, like I was done. And um, you know, good on the kid. You know, he won. He won fair and square. And he's, he's moved on to bigger, better things now. Fair play to you. Know, you um, fair play to you. But yeah, so straight after that, I went and done an operation on meniscus, a tear in the meniscus. Yeah. Do you think you learned from that that loss and that? I learned from it loads. You know, you know what I mean? I was because the, the, losing that 
hurt me more than you know money i fought money but yeah. it's not about that and I, yeah. I, I went off the rails a little bit then drinking and stuff and not, I'm, I'm not gonna fight again you know put weight yeah. on and you know being a yeah. bit being a bit of an ass out with her, you a bit. going out drinking with mates and being at the bars with yeah. so then locked down kicked him and yeah. all that and, and yeah. um but yeah, I thought I'm not fighting again. No, that's it, no. And then I snapped out of it. And I thought, no, yeah. shut your doubt. Don't, don't finish yeah. on a loss. That's it. You can't win them all, no, mate. Can on. fight them all. Yeah, no, can't win no, them all. Yeah, yeah. And uh, it was just, just letting my family down hurt me yeah. more. You know. Um, yeah. Yeah. That Where does this big following come from? Obviously, you got, you know, you're from two big families. But I can imagine a lot of the members and that come down and watch it as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've got two big families. I've got my um, my dad's English. You know, yeah. got an English family um, all right. over Manchester. Yeah. Then my mum's um, Irish family. She was um, traveller family. She was born here. Her mum and dad was travellers from yeah. a town called um, Tume in Galway. Galway Massive yeah. big Irish family there. But yeah. most of them are travellers and settled travellers and yeah. live around South and all yeah. so we've got, we've got a big 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 Irish family yeah. and they're all fighters and bare knuckles yeah. and so we had all that you know yeah. family that and you know yeah. so I've always had the fighting yeah it's in your blood fighting blood yeah yeah yeah, mate, yeah. yeah. yeah mate. 300 tickets is some guy yeah, you know I mean? especially yeah. a ticket deal, mate. You know what I mean? Well, I, I didn't. I didn't think when I first started fact, I didn't think I'd sell many tickets because, like I said, I was a little um, angry little shit when I was younger. Yeah, I thought I was somebody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> used to, you know, a bit, bit been of a kid, there. been there. Thought I was something. Used to being a bit of a gang when I was younger, and yeah. you know, up to no good. And um, with me, all my mates who were grown up with, they was all like into arm robberies and all that. But look, I was, I never got into that. I was lucky I had a, a good dad. I mean, dad kept me always working and doing YTS and stuff. And, but I was like, I was always fighting. I was like the little violent one. Yeah. And he was like, oh, doing all that. And yeah. so no good. And look, having a really good dad, you know, making me cook my own stuff, clean ironing, making me do YTS. He, he, yeah. he snapped me out of it, made me work. And, you know, yeah. he used to look up to my brother. He used to save all the time. And he used to, oh, I want that. And, yeah. you know, I pulled out of it. But yeah, so friends now he was there, they're like, the years in prison and stuff look back now and they're like 40 odd years old now and they're like yeah. they've got nothing and a couple of them have moved on and done really well yeah. but most of them they, they, they've got nothing and they, they, you know yeah. they, they, they wasted their life doing all that and you yeah. know and I'm just I'm so glad that I was I never had the balls to get into robbing and stuff you yeah. know it's just not me you know mm -hmm. and um, yeah yeah yeah, you seem like you've made a good life for yourself, mate. Anyway, yeah, you know, yeah. Looking from, looking from could, the could, outside, could have yeah. all could have all gone wrong. Like yeah, you know, course, I, I did mate. have a bit of a bit of a past. You know, I was fighting and got to know good. I did a few bad things where, you know, but yeah, you know, I snapped out of it. I, got, I get on with everyone now. I've got you know, I've got no enemies now. You know, I get on with everyone. You know? Yeah, good man. Yeah, good man. Mm. So you have your thoughts since then? Have you thoughts since you lost? Yeah, uh, well, I got offered. Um, Got offered um, a European title. Yeah, that's right. That's your yeah. little bit of silverware. Against, there. Um, against good lad from um, Bulgaria, but it was, again, it was a middleweight. I was like, oh, okay, middleweight again. Yeah. You know, they, you know, like I'm, I'm a quite a big welterweight. No, some big welterweights, but middleweight, I'm small. Yeah. And um, getting scared. He was four and four and one pro. Um, yeah. So I, I went with him. So I worked, I worked in striking. Work with him, just non-stop kicking his legs, mm. throwing strikes. Worked the first round. Could he, see you were a bit of a smaller man in that one. Yeah, oh, you, know you, know mean? you, you could see that, mate. Yeah, so he comes and does some mad jumping flying. Need to yeah. because my plan was to keep it standing, you yeah. know. Um, and then he does some flying here, catching it, taking it down. So I just took him Seen down that. and just mauled him with the ground in the first round. Um, yeah. But you know, he had really good jujitsu. I've seen him sub some, some some good lads, you know, yeah. in the triangles. You know, people were beating him, and then he'll just whip a triangle on him. Yeah. So I've got my arms. So I've got him down. He's got a turtle. Got my arm in. He's he's nearly arm barring me underneath. I'm like, yeah. Hell. So so I got my arm Feel around the for the guillotine. Strength, yeah. The strength, right? So I've got all yeah. of his his head and his arm, and I'm thinking, right, that, I thought there's no way I'm diving for a guillotine on him. So he gets on me. It's gonna be raining elbows on me. He's just, you know, when you feel like so a well away, I can rag him all over and throw yeah. him in it, and I can feel strong. I thought, so I just played it safe with him. I just kept like taking him down and just just staying in turtle and just yeah. popping him with shots, popping yeah. him with shots, moving around. You know? Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. he's a good kid. He's a good kid, and yeah. you know, and he's only 30, 31 years old. Yeah, and he's four and well, four and two now. He's lost four and two pro. Um, four and two, like, but he's he, he's so he's 
a high level pro now at yeah. the age I started my amateur yeah. in yeah. training. Yeah, so is. imagine what he's going to be like when he when I'm when he's yeah. sorry um, 40, 40 or yeah. thirty eight. He sticks at it, yeah. <sighs> it's going to be mustard, isn't it? Yes, mate. Yeah, yeah. Mm, good on him. Absolutely, mate. Absolutely, yeah. and fair play to you for giving him the, for giving him the respect he deserves. You know. Yeah, I've, I've become friends with the guy now. Yeah. I speak to him. I said, anytime you come over, come and train, mate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you do, good. don't you? I mean, not all the time. Yeah. But I mean, I've got some brothers who I used to who I fought in the past. You know, and I wouldn't. I only got to know him the first time I met him. Yeah. Exchange of swapping shots in the ring. A lot of people who fought and um, had, had trouble become best. best yeah, of course friends. they do. Yeah. Of course they do, mate. You get yeah. that respect. You yeah. earn and gain yeah. that respect. You know, when you're yeah. swapping shots. So it's all, a couple of my older cousins who've got like, best mates loyal. And that they've had like problems with in the past, like yeah. nearly killing each other and stuff. Yeah. You know, in the past as a younger, and yeah. they grow up to be best mates. Like, so yeah. So yeah. do you want to talk about this world title, mate? That you've been offered, you know, you've been offered, been offered a gold, pop at the world title. Yeah, I've been offered a yeah, I've been offered um, a world title, world title at one point in this year. Yeah. Um, I got to my wife's forty, so I've got that. I've got a couple of holidays booked. I'm going visiting the fam family in Ireland for the first time. I'm going um, over to um, yeah. Tume, Galway. Um, you know, I'm gonna go over. See where 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 my mum's um, go to family and from roots, and background. Yeah, yeah I want to do. I've got to go and take pictures of my granny's grave for my mum. Nice, I promised her. Well, nice, you know, nice yeah. to mum. Yeah, and um, yeah, going and loads of the family are going to come and meet me and have a pint and stuff. And yeah, I'm looking forward to it. But, um, yeah, so yeah, I'm going to go for this fight at some point this year. Um, not got a date yet, but I've been told it's there when I want it. Yeah, you're just you're just ticking over in the gym at the minute, just keeping yourself in. Yeah, de yeah, de just decent training, enough, Nick. Run, running, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've just had a fight just a couple of months ago as well. Um, yeah, yeah, I won that one. Oh, we're talking about that one last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Just took that to sort of stay busy, didn't you? Stay yeah, active. yeah. Because so, so I've been up, been up to middleweight twice now, and yeah, so I've right. so not been training, um, no, not right. not had to push myself as hard and down yeah. a few kilo to lose. Yeah. So um, so I said to him, right, I'm gonna go back to welterweight, and he said, well, you're gonna move back to welterweight. I've got um, a lad there when I fight. He went. Um, Bit of a journey guy he went but um, he's won quite a lot and he's lost you know a lot so it's a good good experience yeah. guy for you to fight so I thought, yeah go for it you know get my weight back down because i don't yeah I'm older now it's just getting a bit harder to lose mm -hmm. the weight so yeah yeah so i go for it and um and yeah I started off throwing a few shots just throwing a few shots back can't move a few can't move can't move one for your cheek bastard yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was like, away, whipped him down, whipped yeah. him down took his legs down yeah. ground the pound and took him behind and choked him because yeah. the fun was I'm going to take this guy yeah. I'm going to keep it standing yeah. you know, get get my money's worth get the, the fans the money's worth and, that yeah. and then he caught me with one it's, people who watch it go it's funny he came and eat it with that <laughs> your face yeah. changed uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. whipped his legs down <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. like you said you've all got a plan haven't you to get in the face absolutely <laughs> brother well put yeah. well put mate yeah yeah um, well mm. i'm gonna i'm gonna give um the fcc fcc channel a big shout out because I spent hours on there watching fights last night you know after the boxing which i was disappointed with the decision but um yeah i spent hours, I spent hours on there watching fights last night so if you type in fcc mma you know the channel come up mate and there's some brilliant fights on there you know including including a lot of kenneth's fights on there um before we wrap it up mate you know i want to Give you the opportunity. Anyone you want to shout out, you know. Anyone you want to shout out, and you know, do you want to give your gym a mention, you know? Oh yeah, my, my gym's. Um, so I've got, I have two gyms in one. So as, as you can see, you're gonna take some yeah. pictures a bit. So I've got a big weightlifting gym studio, like all sort of CrossFit sort of area. Yeah. It's called Body Matters Gym. The gym's called Body Matters. Yeah. And then we have um, all the mats and bags and stuff, and that's that size called Fight Fracture, known as right. Team Fight Fracture. Yeah, I've seen the signs on the main road for that. But yeah, no, I like to just uh, obviously. Give a big sort of thumbs up to my wife, Kelly, yeah. for putting up for all my shit for years and years and years. Don't years forget and years. her. <laughs> yeah, <good man. laughs> you know, yeah. ups and downs, and yeah, she's. Um, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here now doing this. You know. Yeah. She um she changed me from me being a little rogue when I was younger, being an ass wife, and yeah. thinking I was something to. You know. Yeah. Made me realise that I'm not more better than anyone else. You know. You, yeah. You know, we're all the same. Fair play to you, mate. Mm. Fair play to you, mate. Listen, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. Pleasure meeting you. I'm gonna go and uh, have a little nosy around your gym yeah. a bit, bit more, take some videos and that, and I'll get them on. My, I'll get them on my channel. Yeah. Um, thank you very much for your time, mate. I hope uh, I hope your training goes well. Your oldest go well. Your missus' birthday goes well. You know, and I wish you well in the world title fight. Yeah. You know, if you if you decide to take it. Well, I've, I've also been offered um, a, a boxing fight with Emma Magles on. Been offered. Um, yeah, I've been offered. Um, Big Dodo, yeah, <laughs> yeah, against some um, ex kid who's a UFC fighter, yeah, yeah, but it's big wages, and I've been like, 
now. I yeah. thought, like, when am I going to take it? But well, I think, yeah, so hopefully that's going to go ahead um, this year or next year. Well, like we were saying yeah. last night, mate, I'm free on like a fortnightly basis, mate. It'd be quite nice to come down to a few rounds, a yeah. few hours with you, you know, can have a little play about. Yeah. That. yeah. It'd be nice, yeah. wouldn't it? I'd enjoy that. Yeah. Yeah. My man. <laughs> well, maybe we've seen a bit more on you on the channel. Hopefully, yeah. yeah. No, and then I've got probably got a couple of years left in me to play, and then just concentrating on my lads and my, you know, my yeah. students and stuff. I've got a couple few good lads coming through now yeah one of them's fighting for a, a title itself soon and um he's level he's like he's like me you know yeah. and if he sees his hard, yeah. hard work he's uh -huh. good and he you know if he keeps his head on it and he's going to be a top pro yeah mm. well i think as well you know credit and respect to you for recognizing you know that i mean i'm i've got a high mileage body i'm my fighting days are finished you know mm. i'm riddled with injuries but you know yourself you've only got a window especially in combat for performing at your yeah. best, I'll you know what I mean. I'll tell you because I've always um, I've had knees go four times. I've had an operation. I've always been I've always overtrained. I've had the carpal tunnel. I've been in pain and stuff. And I was getting a massage every week, and I was always in pain after the massage and stuff. Ne you know, getting yeah. the massages doesn't work. No. And then um, someone recommended I go on to a cryo chamber. You know, yeah. you stand in and get the freezing. Yeah, the cryo chambers. Best yes, thing I yeah, ever yeah. done. My wife said. Cause I got, so I got a caravan at weekends, it's an hour's drive. When I go up there, I'm like an old man. I was like, I can't yeah. straighten myself up, pains yeah. in my back and knees. And then since I've gone there, my back pains have gone, my knee pains have yeah. gone, I've got no pains anymore. And it's yeah. like my, my carpal tunnel went in my hands. Yeah. And it's, I swear by it, and I've, I've told a few friends to go there, and they're like, you know, when they get up in the morning, their feet, feet are underneath, they said, it's all gone. I said, I yeah. can't believe it. And I said, I told you. So the, honestly, I'd recommend Cairo chambers yeah. Yeah. cryo chambers yeah, yeah. I recommend it to um, yes, anyone yeah. yeah anyone who's just got back pains who just you can get that once a week or once a fortnight yeah you know it's well worth it for me I can relate to that just with the massages them deep tissue them deep tissues them sports massages mate they rip you to oh, bits they really I don't they? days I, in I, bed I, after I was like that for yeah. two days me after that train and yeah. stuff and, you know if you know if you, you need the good stretch and stuff the good you know yeah. what I mean? but I'm not gonna have Deep sports massage in the moment. It's gonna have just the, when you go on holiday, just a little yeah, bit. The little nice yeah, ones. Yeah, what they call yeah, like um, the Swedish ones. Yeah, ones. It's gonna be like you're feeling yeah. good ones, yeah, because yeah. Cause you feel like crap after it. Yeah, because you let all the toxins in your body That's and you feel it. ill off it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, of course you do. And she was like, because so when I was um, having a massage on a fire, I was going to a caravan, I was just like having a bottle of blood, I was falling asleep. Yeah. And she's like, and then she went, and you're still moaning about your back all weekend. It's not, yeah. you know. And then since been having this, like, don't moan anymore. Yeah. You know, yeah. Well, like I say, mate, you look really well, and there's a bit of. There's a bit of advice for every any any sports athletes, combat yeah, athletes out there. Start, start Botox young. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, drink loads of water yeah. and eat good food. Yeah. <laughs> Swerve the massages and get in the cryo chamber. Yeah. Yes, mate. Listen. Yeah, Absolute right. pleasure. Pleasure, mate. We'll wrap.